nothing of the sea. Marvelous Designer is a revolutionary tool in the world of 3D art and design, built specifically to create stunningly realistic digital garments and fabric simulations. If you've ever looked at a character in a video game or a movie and been impressed by the way their clothes move naturally, or how the fabric looks like something you could reach out and touch, there's a good chance Marvelous Designer played a role in bringing that to life. At its core, Marvelous Designer mimics the real-world process of making clothes. Think about how a tailor works. They start with flat fabric patterns, cut and sew them together, and then drop the materials over a mannequin to see how it fits. This software does the same thing, but in the digital world, artists create 2D patterns seal them together virtually and watch in real time as the software simulates the fabric's behavior, dropping it over a digital character or mannequin. What really sets Marvelous Designer apart is its fixes engine. This isn't just about making clothes look good, it's about making them behave as they would in the real world. If you are designing a jacket, you will see how it folds, creases, and stretches as the character moves. If it's a gown, you would watch the fabric flow and sway as though it's been worn by someone walking down a runway, and you can adjust every little detail, like the tension in the seams or the weight of the material until it looks just right. Marvelous Designer has earned its reputation as a top competitor in the digital cloth simulation world. The software offers an unparalleled level of realism and precision for digital garment creation. However, when compared to other industry standard tools such as Myers N Cloth, Houdini's Cloth Simulation 2, Blender's Cloth Simulation System, Cinema 4D's Cloth Tools, ZBrush's Dynamic Cloth, and specialized fashion software like Cloth 3D, it becomes clear that each tool has its strengths and weaknesses, making the choice dependent on specific project requirements and user expertise. When it comes to comparing Myers N Cloth and Marvelous Designer, the differences really highlight what each tool is designed for and how artists use them. Marvelous Designer shines when it comes to ease of use and speed, especially for those focusing on garment creation. Its drag and drop workflow and pattern based design tools make it incredibly intuitive. You can create realistic fabric drafts and folds almost effortlessly, which is why it's so popular with fashion designers and digital artists who need to prototype and visualize clothing quickly. If you are someone who doesn't want to get bogged down in technical details, Marvelous Designer is a fantastic choice. Myers N Cloth Do operates in a different league. It's incredibly powerful and versatile, but it's also more technical and has a steeper learning curve. Where N Cloth really shines is in its ability to handle complex simulations that goes beyond just clothing. For example, imagine a scene where a piece of fabric is interacting with wind, water, and flying debris all at the same time. That's where Myers N Cloth comes into its own. It's built to work seamlessly with other phases based tools in Maya, making it perfect for large scale VFX projects where every detail of every simulation has to be just right. And so, if you are looking for a tool to quickly design and simulate clothing without diving into technical weeds, Marvelous Designer is the way to go. It's user friendly and gets the job done with stunning realism for garments. On the other hand, if you are working on a major film or a high stake action sequence where clothes need to interact 
dynamically with a complex environment, Myers and Cloth is your best bet. Yes, it takes time to learn, but it pays off when you need that level of control and realism. But that isn't all. There is also Blender. Blender's Cloth Simulation provides a highly cost-effective alternative for users seeking solid control over fabric behavior in their project. Over the years, Blender has significantly improved its cloth phases, now allowing artists to simulate drapping, stretching, and fabric interaction with other objects in their scenes. However, while Blender is powerful, it doesn't offer the garment-focused features that Marvelous Designer excels at. A couple of examples will be 2D pattern creation, sewing simulation, or realistic fabric behaviors designed specifically for clothing. This makes Marvelous Designer a more specialized tool for creating detailed garments, which is something Blender can't quite match in terms of ease and precision. That said, Blender's integration with its broader 3D2 set including sculpting, modeling, and animation makes it a versatile all-in-one platform for general-purpose 3D works. It's also a great tool for users who are creating assets for games, animation, or VFX. However, it's important to know that achieving results comparable to Marvelous Designer may require more manual work, particularly in fine-tuning cloth behavior. For artists who are working within a tight budget or need cloth simulation primarily for VFX or animation, Blender is a good option. Depending on the complexity of the project, it might be beneficial to use both tools, as Blender can handle general simulations whilst Marvelous Designer is better for detailed, garment-specific works. Ultimately, the choice choice would depend on the specific demand of the project and the artist's need, with Blender offering a more affordable, flexible solution for general 3D work. For those of you hoping to get into motion graphics and somewhat basic VFX works, this is what I have to say on Cinema 4D when it comes to close simulation in comparison to Marvelous. What were you thinking on a one world cup? In Cinema 4D, the cloth simulation tools are really well integrated with the rest of the software's dynamic system, making them great for motion graphics and animation workflows. The ease of use and real-time preview options are big advantages, especially for artists who need to quickly set up and adjust cloth behaviors. However, when it comes to the finer details, like simulating realistic fabric folds or scene-based constructions, Cinema 4D's tools fall a bit short. Such cases call for the unique abilities of Marvelous designer, which offers a more specialized solution for designing and simulating garments with high details. Cinema 4D is perfect when clothes elements are part of a larger scene or animation, particularly when they are complementing other motion graphics or visual effect. It's not really designed with fashion designers who want to simulate realistic clothing with minimal effort in mind. If your goal is detailed, high-level realism in clothes simulation, you might find Cinema 4D less ideal compared to dedicated tools like Marvelous Designer. Since Maxon purchased ZBrush, let's see how well ZBrush fills the gap where Cinema 4D falls short. Now, the big question here is, does ZBrush have what it takes to make clothes simulation in Cinema 4D top-notch? Well, ZBrush's dynamic cloth tools are great for sculpting highly detailed fabric, but they are primarily designed for static or semi-dynamic simulations. The ability to push, pull, and drop clothes over models is highly effective for creating intricate details, especially when working on still images or static assets. This makes ZBrush a strong choice for artists focused on adding fabric details in their sculptures, such as character models or product designs. However, ZBrush doesn't offer real-time phases simulation or the garment-specific workflow that Marvelous Designer excels in, which can limit its effectiveness for more complex or animated clothing. 
ZBrush's clothes tools are more manual, meaning they require more hands-on efforts to achieve their desired result. For artists looking to quickly produce realistic, fully animated clothing, ZBrush might not be the most efficient option. In my opinion, I think pairing ZBrush with Marvelous Designer for Clothes Simulation is highly effective than pairing ZBrush with Cinema 4D straight up. If you are a Cinema 4D user who depends solely on ZBrush for sculpting and is wondering how best to achieve realism in clothes simulation, you can consider adding Marvelous Designer to your toolset to make things easier. Or maybe look into Blender or some hardcore simulation plugins that cost less than Marvelous Designer in Blender. Pairing Marvelous Designer with ZBrush and Cinema 4D allows artists to leverage the strengths of both platforms. In such a pipeline, Marvelous Designer is going to focus solely on realistic animated clothes simulations, while ZBrush is also going to focus solely on detailed high-quality sculpting. And then later, Cinema 4D can also handle the extra animation manual tweaks for VFX purposes. It's a workflow that can provide great flexibility and high-level results. One might be wondering how Marvelous Designer works with ZBrush. Okay, the integration between the two comes through the GOZ bridge. Now, how does it work? 1. You can create the garment in Marvelous Designer using its simulation tool to get the realistic cloth design with accurate folds, seams and textures. 2. Once you are happy with the design, you can export the garment to ZBrush via GOZ, which maintains the high resolution and details of the garment. Number 3. In ZBrush, you can then add further details such as sculpting finer folds, wrinkles or even additional texture details. This step is ideal for artists who need to refine the clothing on a high level, particularly for static assets or detailed renders. Number 4. After refining the garment in ZBrush, you can bring it back into Marvelous Designer for any final adjustment or re-simulation if needed. Number 5. From this stage, you can actually drop your final adjusted works from Marvelous Designer into Cinema 4D or any other VFX software if your project demands. However, it's worth noting that this process isn't always seamless, especially if you are working with highly complex garments or simulations. Some manual adjustments may be needed between the softwares involved, particularly when it comes to aligning the simulation results or textures. One might ask, so, what's the deal with Clow 3D? Well, Clow 3D is another simulation tool which functions almost the same as Marvelous Design. Comparing Clow 3D to Marvelous Design, the only thing I can say would be on differences and more about target audience than functionality. Clow 3D, which is built by the same developers, focuses primarily on the fashion industry, offering features like fabric costing, pattern grading, and garment production tools. Marvelous Designer, on the other hand, is aimed more at the entertainment industry, prioritizing real-time garment simulation and integration with 3D pipelines. For digital artists, Marvelous Designer's intuitive interface and real-time phases makes it more appealing. But for professional fashion designers, Clow 3D's additional tools for manufacturing and design accuracy provide unmatched value. Okay, I think enough has been said concerning Clow 3D and its sister Marvelous Design. Now let's talk about Houdini's Clow Simulation Engine. The first thing I would like to point out is boot softwares cater to entirely different use cases. Houdini excels in procedural workflow and allows artists to simulate clothes in highly dynamic and intricate scenarios such as distraction or large-scale VFX shot. It provides unparalleled control but demands a deep understanding of its node-based system. Marvelous Designer is more accessible and faster for creating standalone garments but lacks Houdini's procedural power and integration into massive multi-phases scenes. The software, which is Houdini, demands a significant technical expertise. Houdini's clothes system is ideal for simulations requiring interactions with other forces or detailed customization, whereas Marvelous Designer shines in scenarios focused purely on garments creation and high-quality fabric drapping. Each two comes with their own unique strengths and weaknesses, making the choice highly dependent on the project's specific needs. Okay. 
Comparing Marvelous Designer to the best softwares in its field, I hope you now have a fair idea what the software stands for and how it's going to fit into your pipeline. If you've watched the video up till this point, a sub to my channel would be Marvelous. In the fashion industry, Marvelous Designer holds a strong position due to its seamless integration with pattern-based workflows, its ability to simulate garments in real time, and accurately represent the physical properties of fabrics has made it an essential tool for designers and technical artists. Paired with Clue 3D, its sibling software, it dominates the realm of digital fashion prototyping, providing tools for virtual garment testing and visualization. Its use in this field is so prevalent that many fashion schools and training programs now include marvelous designer in their curriculum, reinforcing its status as a standard too. In the gaming and film industries, marvelous designer is often considered the go-to software for creating realistic high detail clothing. Studios such as Naughty Dog and UBI Soft have integrated marvelous designer into their pipeline, using it to produce high quality costumes and fabric assets that enhances the visual fidelity of their project. In film production, Marvelous Designer's realistic clothes simulations contribute to creating immersive cinematic visuals, especially for characters in close-up shots or high-definition sequences. However, while Marvelous Designer excels in its specialized domain, it is not the sole standard across the broader 3D industry. Its reliance on dense triangulated meshes often requires additional optimization for animation, and that makes it less efficient for workflows that demand retopologized lightweight assets. In such cases, tools like Myers N Cloth or Blender's Cloth Simulation tools may be preferred for their flexibility and integration with broader pipelines. Similarly, ZBrush's dynamic cloth features, though not as detailed or dynamic in simulation, offer sculpt and centric workflows that suit certain artists better. Let's not pretend Marvelous Designer is all perfect without fault. Marvelous Designer has its quirk and challenges also. First off, the high poly models it generates can be a problem. These garments are incredibly detailed, which is great for photorealistic renders, but not so ideal for real-time applications like games. To make them work in a game engine, for example, you will need to simplify the model, something called retopology. This adds an extra step to your workflow, and while tools like ZBrush can help, it's still a time-consuming process. Only 3D artists would understand, but for fashion designers, you got no problem since this step isn't needed in your field. There is also a learning curve. If you are not familiar with sewing or how clothes are constructed in the real world, Marvelous Designer can feel a bit intimidating at first. It's not like other 3D programs where you just pushing and pulling shapes. You are essentially becoming a digital tailor using Marvelous Designer. But once you get the hang of it, the result can be absolutely worth it. Also, one of the most frequently mentioned issues is Marvelous Designer's heavy reliance on computing power. While its real-time simulation engine is a key selling point, achieving high-quality simulations often requires a robust hardware setup. Users working on older machines or systems with limited GPU capabilities may encounter lag or crashes, particularly when dealing with high poly garments or complex multi-layered clothing. This hardware dependency can be a significant barrier for freelancers or small studios with limited resources, making it less accessible compared to lighter, more optimized clothing tools available in other softwares. Another issue arrives with integration into broader pipelines. Although Marvelous Designer supports common file formats like OBJ and FBX, exporting assets for use in other 3D applications often requires additional cleanup and optimization. The software's simulated garments, while visually stunning, are notorious for producing dense triangulated meshes that are not animation friendly. Artists frequently need to retopologize these meshes, like I spoke about before in external software, adding an extra step to the workflow. This can be particularly frustrating for those aiming for efficiency or working under tight deadlines, as it undermines the seamlessness that Marvelous Designer is known for. Lastly, while the software excels in fabric behavior simulation, it has limitations when dealing with non-traditional fabric or experimental materials. Users working on fantasy or sci-fi projects 
square garments may require unique faces or structural elements often find marvelous designer lacking in customization options. This too is deeply rooted in mimicking real-world cloth behavior, which can make it challenging to simulate unconventional designs without resorting to workarounds or additional software. To the big question, is marvelous designer perfect? The big answer is a no. But it's incredibly powerful for what it does. It excels at creating realistic clothing quickly, but you will need to pair it with other tools to optimize and refine your assets for animation or real-time use. And while the learning curve might be steep for some, the payoff, creating garments that look like they belong in the real world is worth the effort. Marvelous Designer is at its heart a tool that bridges the gap between creativity and realism. It allows artists to focus on the artistry of design while handling the heavy lifting of fabric simulation. For anyone looking to elevate their 3D projects, whether in games, films, or even virtual fashion, it's a tool that continues to set the industry standard. Okay, if you love this video, kindly don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Until my next video, peace.